that there they had made a decision to support Steve Miller's um, letter to be read. I just wanted to know what minutes those were in when that decision was made. That was the August 30th, right? Yeah, at the deliberative. We don't have any minutes from August 30th, right? No. Okay. So when was that decision made? <laughs> why, why would this? Been, why would have been any minutes? I don't know. Because I think he just went in and asked, "I'm going to read this letter," and it was yeah. But that's an action of this committee. It needs to be on RSA 91. Do you know when it was, Steve? What was it? that decision? What decision? Uh, you said that the, the budget committee had supported you in saying what you were reading your letter. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's correct. When was that decision made? Uh, the day of the deliberative session. The day of the deliberative session. Uh -huh. Correct. So, do you have minutes for that? I don't have to. I was. You don't have I, to. Can you no, speak I, to mic? I asked all the members of the committee on the DS in front of everybody whether or not they would approve my reading that letter. And they said yes, unanimously. But that's, that's a meeting. That, you can say whatever you want. I'm just telling you what happened. Well, I'd like to see the minutes when that action was taken. Well, I don't have them. Then you didn't get permission if you didn't do it in a public meeting. OK. And did I have your permission? Yes, you did. Did it's I have your permission? You were there. It was a public meeting Excuse me. that needs Excuse to have me. minutes. He wasn't there. So far. Everybody said I had their permission. Well, I'd like to see the minutes. Well, <laughs> They're a public board. So? So? I can still make a statement. Here's what happened. No, the they took a vote and it was unanimous. Any votes that are taken by the budget committee we need gave to be no, consent. No, no, wait a we oh, gave oh, our oh, consent. That's not true. We didn't vote. That's we there gave was no vote. consent. I asked if everybody there yes. was on point with me, and they said yes. Yes. Period. You said you had a unanimous decision of the budget committee that was there. Call it whatever you want. I would like to see the tape, if that's what you said. If that's what so, I said. I don't believe you. Show me the tape. What I said? Yeah. What did you say? You were the one that said it. Right. You didn't say anything. Let's. Well, I, I want just, the minutes no, of the meeting. I'm just really tired of all your garbage. Every time you show up, you're attacking the budget committee at every instance. You say that, A, we didn't post on time when you don't post on time. When have I ever said you didn't post on time? I have never, ever no, said you, you didn't Krista post. No, you had Krista do it last year publicly. Okay, I'm not getting into it. And if right, it wasn't right. posted. And, um, and, Wait, because last year at, in February at the deliberative session, and I came to the school board meetings, and I, at that deliberative session, I said that the um, school attorney had been misinformed, and I was right, and I and I brought all my information to you at a at a public meeting at a school board meeting, and and what's you, the relevance to post to having a public meeting and keeping minutes? You are bound by the RSA 91. And this you had a public meeting. You had a public meeting prior to the deliberative session. You posted a meeting that started at 7 p.m. and at 6:15, you had a full board plus your attorney plus my, um, the moderator and the school In clerk. In February? Was, no, we're getting back to this most recent oh. one. Okay, which is what you're you're doing here. Well, you keep interrupting me, so you know I can't answer all your questions at once, Terry. One at a time. I haven't asked I'm you trying any to make questions. a statement here. I've asked one question. If you had a meeting, we didn't take I a vote. We gave our verbal permission we, that we were in a, we were in agreement that what he was going to read was a statement on behalf of this committee. Uh, Can't do us. that as a public board. No, no. Here's what you do. Oh. You have legal remedies. Okay. Yeah, we do. Okay. Go and take your legal remedies. Okay. If Thank that's you. the way you'd like to like it to go forward, I feel bad. Well, that's but okay. I think sure you do. What this board needs don't to feel do bad one minute. is follow. Not excuse me. You don't feel this much bad. So, did you take meeting minutes at your pre-meeting mm -hmm. that you were supposedly posted, but you really actually never really did post? 
That you posted a deliberative at session. What are you, which meeting are you talking about? You posted a deliberative session announcement on the calendar on the, on the school website. August 30th. Correct. Yes. At 6.15, you had a full board meeting, and when I called you on it, and I, and I talked to the woman from the state, which is what this is all about, because I did to ask the question, you said, what the woman from Who the state? Who did you talk to from she, the state? She came back to me. I called and I asked um, what happens if you have a meeting prior to a deliberative session if you had to post it. And so it came back to me that it's just understood when there's a deliberative session that the school board is automatically going to meet beforehand. Well, are how do the taxpayers in the community know that? Are you talking? You need to clear up which meeting you're talking about. There was a meeting that we had with our attorney before a deliberative session. Which yes. Did not have to post. Why not? Because it's covered under legal. It's a non-meeting. Anytime we meet with our attorney. Now, so you why guys, did you have you, to vote to go into non-public session if it was a non-meeting? This, this, because we do, so that you'll all know to leave. So. <laughs> so when you have your pre-meeting that you don't feel that you need to post or notify anybody, and it's a public meeting, right? It was a non-meeting. But it's a public meeting, right? No, it isn't a public I was meeting. there. I walked in. Non-meeting. That's why we went in and discussed with our lawyer after, and you knew to leave because we were going into a non-meeting. OK. <laughs> right. my, my only point is, in closing, is that you are a public board. You need to follow by. And I know it's he, he doesn't, we don't, you don't. We have, I mean, I understand we have a secretary, we have a superintendent that does a lot of our work. You guys don't have those administrative, and I understand that. But when you get up and you make a statement that you've made a decision as a board, you want the, you want the school to be a part I of I never said committee. those words. I never said those words. I, we made a decision as a board. You're putting words in my mouth. You just said that to me. I did not say that. That it was a unanimous I said that I decision. asked for a verbal consensus that I could read the minutes that everybody stood for that particular statement. Okay. That's all. So we can make verbal consensuses without keeping any minutes of the meeting, is what okay. you're saying. That's your First of all, it happened at the deliberative session, and it was a posted meeting when I did it. It was? Absolutely. Well, I, we, I haven't the seen budget the budget committee. The deliberative session is a posted <laughs> meeting. And that's when it was made. That's when the decision was made. And it was made in front of every single person in the audience. And I made it, and I made it. Watch the tape. And I made it in the microphone, speaking to everybody on my right. You were questioned. I, I'll get a verbatim of the, of the, okay. of the, the meeting right. minutes. Why don't you go ahead and do that? I will. All right. Now let's review the July 25th minutes for approval. <clears throat> I move we accept the July 25th minutes as presented. I'll second that. Do you mind saying your name when we do that? No. Okay. Lauren Carr, I move that we accept the July 25th minutes as presented. Barbara Howard, I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Now, the September 15th. Um, on page Two, it should say for the JMA, um, it was supposed to have Doug in there, yep. Doug Kirkpatrick's name, with um, my name, and Steve Miller with Virgil being the alternative, the alternate rather. With right at the top under number two. two appointments. Two. Okay. Yep. I move we accept the Warren Carr. <laughs> I move we accept the minutes of September 15th with uh, mo uh, with uh, modifications. Modifications. I second it, Mark Dekoff. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Now, approval of the agenda. Or does anybody want to add anything? Are you going? Are you going to do the handouts um, under the old business, or is that you want, you want another? You, yeah, fine. you got everything. 
I think we've got everything <laughs> up to up to what we have to uh, amend because you know we're in the middle of the year type thing. I think I've got almost everything. All right, you want to? So I mean, are you going to put on a new business or do you want to put a new? We can put it on a old business. Okay. So those are the handouts from the town. Yes. So what is it? Is it the uh, list of transfers from line to line? No, you asked me for a list of things. Yeah, I wrote it down. Oh. <laughs> gave me a list. You were here. Mm. Well, part of it. <laughs> list of all revenue up to date. List of trust balances coming in and going out. Chair request percentage used for admin, percentage used for Alton. Yep. Number served in Alton. List of all fuel usages. So nothing on the list of transfers from line to line? We don't have, we don't have that. Okay. Not required. You can do it either way. Okay. Excuse me. What does it mean not required? You can automatically, you don't have to do official transfers between lines. As long as you underrun lines within your budget, it all balances. Oh, okay. What we're just speaking about is within the same department, correct? Within the town. Within the town? So if there was a significant transfer, and this is purely a hypothetical, from highway to fire, as an example, there was a, there was a $500,000 transfer. Well, if you have something of that magnitude, we'll have it. It would be Noted. discussed in the meeting. And okay. Yeah. Okay. Was it, for instance, nothing over 25000 Not here today, but we're not done yet. That's a, well, that's okay. If it's minutia so far, that we don't have to pursue it. Okay. All right. Okay. Anything else you want, you want to add under old business? No. No. Obviously, the new business is going to be approved of the agenda. Under uh, new business, I want to add stuff for uh, this request that you made, Steve, to the uh, school. I want to talk about that. So that'll go under new business. Uh, Mark, if I might. Do you want to put Doug resignation there too, as far as discussing how you want to want to start? Oh, okay. The you have Phil. The now and everything. Yeah, Phil for uh, Doug's position. Anything else? No. I'll entertain a motion. I move we. Lauren Kaya, I move we approve the amended agenda as presented. Mark Dekoff, I second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So old business, the handouts. I'll get you another book. It's going to be kimchi by the time you get it. Huh? It'll probably be kimchi yeah, by the time you get it. Okay. This, the, what I've got here is the uh, fuel usages for the propane, oil, kerosene. These, what are we going to do with handouts this year about these handouts? The people aren't right here. It's always a problem. Somebody doesn't have them. So what are we going to? What you, what's your pleasure on that? Listen, it's up to the uh, chairman. Why don't we pile sure them right here and we'll mark them? Oh, good. Okay. And then hopefully we don't lose them. <laughs> well, yeah. Maybe if you. I don't see why we don't do everything electronic. Man, <laughs> this is a waste. That's for sure. You could have a screen so everybody could see it from the television. <laughs> this is our, what we're using Information for age? You have to have a Pricing. You have to get right here. Fourth grade is in here. I'm sure one's how to do it. This is what we're using for fuel pricing. Two.
This here is the nonprofit that's still a work in progress. Not 100% done yet. We don't have this one. Might, there's probably extras. I usually end up making extras. Okay. Okay. This afternoon, we'll be here. It's a summary sheet. The best thing here is just a summary sheet for the total town budget. That's it? Yeah, I think the... Uh, the only thing we're phone system we haven't we haven't done anything with the phone yet we haven't implemented that change yet we're waiting on TDS uh, uh, fuel usage is in the budget the totals are in the budget you ask for that it's in the in the departments each department legal oh and we're working on the legal that's going to be per case you can't do per case yeah that'll be by per case. And what about settlements paid out? Yep. Yep. So that'll be put it on my old agenda, or my new agenda. So, so we need legal and settlements. Yep. That's all we're looking for. All right. So now we can move over to new business, which is the budget calendar. And you said that needs to change. Only from, not the dates or anything, uh, but it, which is normal when department heads schedule. Oh, well, I'm going to be on vacation from <laughs> October 25th to January 14th. <laughs> I'll be with you. Well, there is a. There is an Australian cruise that I wanted to take in October, and that's like 14 days. Well, I guess, that, I guess that's out. <laughs> Just switching. Uh, you just have to take us all with you so we can conduct Yeah, we'll have to do it. Can I up my budget? <laughs> <laughs> I switched, uh, well, they asked because of their schedules. Planning and code just swapped two nights. Okay. And then and the tax, tax collect collector, I moved down because uh, of scheduling and I don't know yet but I'm gonna have to move the police off of the 27th and I'll f look to try to get a, a larger department or something to swap it with uh, and I'll know that uh, by your next meeting on Tuesday okay everybody good with that mm -hmm. Next one is this request. This this request. What's it for? What do we uh, need all this for? It's what I need. No, I need it. We may all need it, but I need it. Okay. First of all, I'd like the minutes from the following committee since July 1st, 2011, school board, building, and grounds because I'd like to familiar myself with the financial decisions made by both of those uh, committees prior to school. Some of them, they only have posted um, in some instances up till August, and some instances, um, I believe July wasn't posted, but I just wanted to be up to date. Is that an issue? I'm just, no. I, okay. I was asked the question okay. of why. Okay, that's the, that's the reason on that, okay? okay. Also, um, I ask for copies of all bills, invoices, and itemized accounting of expenses 
referenced in any way concerning a renovated or new school or land acquisition. Inasmuch as we've had conflicting numbers reported in the newspaper and since that this is a potential huge bond issue, I wanted to familiarize myself with the costs as they involve so that when the school board presents uh, uh, their um, uh, CIP going forward and their current expenditures, which may include current architectural, for instance, renderings for a future building that has not been okayed, I would like to have that information prior to meeting with the school board uh, sometime, I guess it's either in November, I believe. Okay. Okay? And that's important to me. Okay, so does, does, do we as a budget committee want that stuff? Or does Steve want Yes, I would like to see okay, that. Okay, so do we want to make a motion to? Excuse me, Mr. Mr. Chairman? Yeah, but you put the budget committee wanted that. Right? Yeah, I, no, I said I'm a budget committee member. Okay. I uh, said budget committee member, okay, okay. wanted that. Okay. And for the, all the years that I was chairman, I never refused any budget committee member from no. requesting any information from any department or from any school board or from any committee at any time if it would help them make a good financial decision going forward. Oh, forth. I'm just asking so, if everybody wants No, no, to. going forward. I understand what's being done here, okay? It was probably presented by the school board representative, right, to stop this. No, I got a call today asking, <laughs> okay. do I know about I this? I really resent that. And you know, I really minute, do. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm talking. That. Okay. I was called from the school board, not the school board, the school okay. department asking, about that, why why we needed all that? Okay, I assume that you no. did. I and I, obviously you did not. I agree with that. I apologize. Thank you. Okay, but, but that that's, that's the information. That's why I need this information. It's okay. it's so much money is involved. I have to know how much is in the hole. Right, we're in the hole right now. Far before we go forward. Okay. Okay. That's that's all I wanted to know was. In I, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I thought you were done. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Terry. Um, I mean, one of the concerns we have is that's a lot, that's a lot of secretarial work. Um, and I know that the board spoke tonight before we came up here uh, at, the work, at the budget workshop about putting money in to hire somebody to deal with these kind of requests. Um, this is the beginning of the, uh, the meeting, of uh, the budget session. Um, I'm just concerned about the time in the office copying all the minutes that are already on, on the online uh, for all of the budget committee. I mean, now, who have access to those? Can, uh, Steve, could you get the minutes that you need offline and just? What I said to Debbie was, any minutes that are currently online, you do not have to provide. Okay. Anything that I have access to through an open channel, you don't have to provide. OK. OK. Yeah. So. It's only the things. And she that said thank you. It's only the things Steve can't get. All right. And what what was the other? I don't even know what all the requests were. All I know is it was a big request put in. Do you? Can I hand that? Copy of all bills. I'll sure I'll show it to you. But all bills, invoices, and itemized accounting of expenses, referenced in any way concerning a renovated or new school or land ex All right. You asked for that in the beginning of September, and there have been no expenditures since then. Then that's just asked for that today. I, right, he asked for it in September, and there hasn't been any expenditures since he asked for what? I didn't just ask for expenditures. I asked for all accounting, all bills, all invoices. What's the difference? Okay, a bill is what a... Is what a you don't uh, have any bills. There's no money being requested. There's nothing on the table to be paid or asked for or disseminated, nothing. There was a... Um, on September 1st when you requested it. Okay, are there, uh, was any, um, any expenses that have been approved concerning a renovated or new school or land acquisition? We have $7,000 that we have not paid Chip. That's until he does more. Okay, if that's all there is, that's all there is. And I'll yeah. just pick up that information whenever it's ready. Okay. So that was the 7000 carried over from last year, correct? Because we actually, but he was budgeted last year for thirty thousand, but he really only provided twenty-three thousand dollars worth of work. Correct? Was never budgeted. 
which gets back to my previous statement that I was going to say, because the attorney stood up and informed the entire town and all the taxpayers that um, the, and, and I'm, she was pointing a finger at this committee saying we were ludicrous and that we were um, incorrect, and in fact, that's that that $30,000 had been paid. And, and I brought that to your attention in April, I believe. I have my notes at home. And there was supposed to be some kind of a formal statement to inform people that, in fact, this committee had been um, inaccurately accused of wrongdoing because there was an issue of legalities over that. And I stood up at that meeting and I said, I believe that the lawyer has been misinformed because to date we had not been informed that that architect had been paid. And then the lawyer stood up and said, in fact, he had been paid. And then I, you had a special meeting to uh, take monies out of- Not me, the board had a the meeting? The board, correct. I, when I, I meant the board, I'm not uh, pointing you out singly, um, that there was a special meeting to, to um, approve taking monies to pay the architect the $30,000. And, um, and I went to that meeting about that. And that's what I, where I was getting to before. You know, there was a public um, hearing to withdraw money from a correct. capital reserve fund. But the fact is, is that the that. attorney at a deliberative session. And we've session, gone round and round about that. I don't know what was said, Barbara. You I, should. You I were sitting you, right there. I do not. I don't know. I could have been turned around talking to the superintendent. I don't know exactly what was said. Barbara Lohman is very low key. I could not tell you even that you would ask the question, honestly. I, I mean, anybody can watch the tapes. If the attorney said something wrong, she should, she should um, be responsible for that. Well, we discussed and I mean, you it can at the do meeting. That. You were at that meeting. Can I finish? I mean, you were at the deliberative session. She was there. You should have asked her. You know, I mean. <laughs> yeah, the, the reason I, um, I asked for this information is that in September, I asked specifically, do you have a cost for the school? I asked it about three times, uh, how much either on a per square foot basis or on a uh, cost plus basis, however it's figured, do you have any idea what it will cost? They said, absolutely not, we haven't even done the numbers, which I don't believe, but that's me personally. Okay, that being said, you had the numbers to put in the newspaper, so some, someone had to, did that, had to do that computation between when- Why were there numbers in the paper? Yeah, there was numbers in the paper of what when? a renovated school uh, would uh, ultimately cost. In the when paper. was that? There were last numbers week. in the last paper space, last week. Last week's base order. I read the article, there were no numbers in there because they were, the ones that were presented that week before were wrong. Well, that may numbers. be. You presented wrong numbers, but that's, that's, that's your... Who asked the question long before last that's week? That's what I'm saying. So if allow me to continue. And the reason that I asked for this information <laughs> is somehow someone did some mathematical or quantitative work between that meeting and today and came up with a number and is not in, either is not getting paid for it or is going to bill it forward. I'm sure it will be billed. I told you we have $7,000 left in the obligation that, for CHIP to finish. Okay. But I mean, you're saying that we knew numbers when we did not know numbers. You said we knew numbers because it was in the newspaper. That's right. It, there were numbers in the newspaper. That doesn't mean we knew it back when you thought we knew it. Oh, I didn't think you did. I'm just saying you knew it now. So I, so I normally would assume that somebody did a significant computation because there's a lot of money yeah, involved. Yeah, $7,000. Somebody had to spend more than 10 minutes doing it, and somebody had a bill out for it, and I wanted to see that billing and any others that there's were available. There's no bill at this point. We have $7,000. So he's I'm sure at some point maybe there'll be a bill. I'm sure he's going to want that $7,000 left over. Okay. Can we expect a bill for the uh, current computation, separate or above the t 7000 Do you have something in writing that says specifically that all this work he's doing is for just $7,000? the $7,000. I don't know what's in writing. I know we made an agreement, $30,000, and I know in the agreement it says through renderings, maybe, is what that $30,000. There's a certain and cost. Right. The, uh, there was $30,000 up to... Not doing the whole project and being the head architect and running the whole thing. I mean, there's $7,000 left in preparation. Hi. You done with that? Good. 
We need to talk about how we want to fill Doug's position. You weren't here. He resigned. Medical reasons. Is he okay? Health reasons? Yeah, health reasons, yeah. yeah. I, I would suggest you call him directly. Sure. Yep. No. All right. Thanks. So do we want to put an ad in the paper, or how do we want to do it? I usually do it. Add in the, I say an ad in the paper. Do we want to talk to any former members? Mm-hmm. I think somebody should give Greg a call. I will. I'll call Greg. Okay. Mm-hmm. But to be fair, so it doesn't look like we're loading the board or anything like that, the committee. I'll put I think an ad. You have to put an ad in, ad in the paper and uh, we do have to and uh, request everybody, for instance, put in a letter of intent. They don't have to put in a resume or anything like that, you know, but a letter of intent on why, you know, they would like to do it. We have a form. Okay. All they have to be is a Alton resident. That's right. That's all you, that's the requirement. That's it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you, if, you don't even have to pay a dollar anymore. <laughs> my only point is if there's six people who you, then you have to have a, some type of bar. You know, to make a decision. That's why would you pay a dollar for a position you don't get paid for? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's only when you run for the position. You used to have to pay a dollar. Well, that's the budget committee too. You run for <laughs> <No>. that. <laughs> okay. All right. So, would you like Russ to do that? Yeah, Russ. Could you put an ad in the paper for a position? Yeah. And we'll put it on the website. How long do you want to give it? You know, ten days, week, two weeks. No, let it run. Uh, well, what? I, I, you know, let it run for. Well, yeah. I'm going to put it in once. Right. Oh, sorry. Right? Okay. You are going into budget season, so probably yeah. the quicker you get this done, the better. Well, you that, could leave it on the website until it's. You want to have a filled. deadline on when they have to put in their application. Oh. That's what I was talking. Probably about. by uh, the end of next week, I would think. Right. Yeah. What what paper it would go in the base side, for instance? Oh, so that wouldn't go. To I'll Thursday. leave that up to you. The base side is going to take longer. Okay, so Laconia Citizen is what you're saying? Citizen or the Sun are usually the ones we can get in the quickest. Okay, why don't we do um, that? Okay, so and when do we And then want? we'll put it on the website and post it. Okay. That's, when no. do you want to have them have an in-buy? Uh, uh, a week? Does that seem fair? It'll go in tomorrow? Probably won't be until Monday. So it'll go in Monday? So everybody would have to have it in that fall by that fall on Monday. So the 31st. 31st. That's up to you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So anybody interested should submit their application by October 31st. And it'll be in the budget season in the process by Thursday the third. Yeah. Okay. All righty. Yeah, we'll take care of it. Thanks. Well, we have an odd number of people, so it's not critical. Yeah, but I called Virgil to tell him. Last night I called him to be here. We don't know if something came up either, yeah. so. All right. You really don't have an odd number, do you? No, you, now you have six members. One, two, three. You're missing Virgil. Deadlock committee. I don't <laughs> <laughs> What are we going to do? <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're just taking our lead, that's all. Anything else? Yep. Public input? Uh, is there, um, it's not. does anybody need anything for the first meeting? Uh, water committee? Can I just ask if anybody has any questions they want me to bring back to the school board? Okay, so they ask. Oh. <laughs> That's a loaded question. <laughs> you might oh, not be yeah, I have a question. <laughs> when are the budget books going to be ready? I don't want them that night. Well, we're still working on them, just so you know. You've had all year. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I'd like, them, I'd like them at least a week ahead of time. Okay. That's going to be your job, Steve. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> So basically, we're starting the school on November 10th. They're usually here, aren't they? I, I mean, one year they were out there and 
Nobody knew they were out there. I didn't even know they were out there. No, I, I noticed that we're coming towards you know the beginning of this budget season, and there's at least three charities who haven't picked up their check yet, and I just think that kind of ought to be noted by now. You know, they can't, so they can't need the money that bad if they can't pick up a check. You know, it it seems like it's just a form that goes in now. If we get it, fine. If we get it, if we don't get it, and if we, we can live if we get it. it, we won't go pick it up. Yeah, you know. I mean, that's ridiculous. You know, but there's there's at least three out there. Are they from? And I think I, I think that's really wrong. Well, they pick it up from each town each week. That's how they do it. And Alton's at the end. Ah. Some do partials. It depends. It should be in the, the beginning. Agency. We're a. Anything else? I take a motion. Oh. To adjourn. Lauren Carr, let's adjourn. Mactikoff, second. All in favor? Aye. Oh.